Hey guys, I've got my everyday autumn makeup look for you today and I'm so excited to show you this because I've been wearing it so much, especially in my vlogs because I am doing Vlogtober so so many of you guys have been commenting on my vlogs saying that you like my makeup. I just love smoky eyes so I thought I would show you which one is my go-to for autumn and I'm actually using a new foundation as well, it's from The Body Shop. It's the Fresh Nude Foundation and I am loving it, it feels so nice on my skin, glides on like silk. It's a lot more dewy, which is really nice for the autumn time. And I've actually used a couple of their new darkening drops to darken it a little bit as well, so that it perfectly matches my skin tone. And I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like and the rest of this makeup. And if you would like to see, carry on watching. The first thing I'm gonna do is pop some moisturizer on and this is my favorite one. It's the Yes to Tomatoes for Combination Skin Daily Balancing Moisturizer. And it's got 97% natural ingredients. I'm now going to pop on my Body Shop All-in-One Insta Blur. You guys know this is my obsession. I can't go a day without using it. It just makes my makeup stay on so much better. And it helps the oils in my skin, so my skin isn't as oily when I wear this, which means obviously my makeup stays on better. Onto foundation, I'm taking the Body Shop Fresh Nude Foundation. This has got SPF 15 and it's a 30 milliliter bottle and this is in the shade Bora Bora. But they've actually just brought out these, which which are lightening and darkening shade adjusting drops. These come with a little pipette on the top and you can just buy a darker one for summer and a lighter one for winter if your skin tends to change shades. And you can add them to any foundation to make your foundation match. So you could literally keep this shade or whatever shade you are a foundation all year and just add these to it, which is so good. So I'm just gonna add one darkening drop to this foundation, because it's a little bit light right now, and just apply that to my face. This has got a really nice scent to it. It's not overpowering, but it just smells so nice. It's a little bit fruity, and it's a gorgeous medium coverage foundation, so you can build it up into a full coverage, or you could definitely just wear one layer and have it quite sheer. I got the perfect match by adding just a couple of drops of the darkening shade. I love that, it's so good as well for me because I use fake tan and I use it all year round. So sometimes my fake tan is really dark and I put a little bit too much on and usually I would have had to just wear the same shade of foundation and just put bronzer on. But with these drops now, I can just add a little drop and I will have the perfect shade. I always seem to cut out me blending foundation on my forehead out of my videos. I think it's because it's normally like off screen here. And then I always get comments like, does she put foundation on her forehead or does she just leave it? But yes, I do put it on. Now that that's on, I'm moving on to concealer and I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear. This is disgusting. The top of this is so horrible. I must have had this for like two years now, which is also disgusting. But I always forget to get another and Nah. I've still got loads in, so I don't just want to throw it away, but you should really. Just popping this under my eyes. And on this pesky spot, I like to use this as like a highlighting concealer, so as I'm blending it out, I'll kind of just pull it down onto my cheek. It creates that Kim K effect. I'm going to move on to eyebrows. I'm just taking a brown eyeshadow and I'm going to fill them in. I really like doing my eyebrows with eyeshadow. I think it looks way more natural, but I also love doing it with pencil too. I feel like this lighting is so bad. I look yellow in the viewfinder. I've just had to move setups because that one just wasn't working out. The lighting went a bit yellow, so I've turned my light off now. I hate using studio lights, it really bugs me. I'm just gonna powder my face a little bit because I need my makeup to stay in place. I always just powder on the forehead, under my eyes, on my nose, chin, that's it really. Onto eyes, I'm gonna add my MAC Painterly Paint Pot just as a little base. my highlighter on before my blush and my contour so I'm just using the benefit what's up just on the tops of my cheekbones I do like to use all cream products on my cheeks in the autumn winter because I just feel like it's way more hydrating when the cold weather starts to just to use cream ones so I'm taking my Chanel Soleil Tander Chanel 
just on this expert face brush by Real Techniques. I'm just gonna carve my cheekbones out. <laughs> is Max Lady Blush. It's so pretty. I'm just taking that on the expert face brush again onto the apples of my cheeks. After that I just like to powder underneath my contour just to make it stand out a little bit more. on to eye makeup and I'm gonna take my MAC palette and I'm taking Satin Taupe which is this shade here super pretty it's like a taupey grey shade so I'm just gonna take that all over my lid as you can tell that is on super duper rough so I'm just gonna blend it out now Adding that to my lower lash line too. Sometimes that's all I'll do with my makeup. I'll just put mascara on and be good to go. But I do also like to do looks with eyeliner. So I'm just adding the Naked Smoky Shade Armour to my eyes. Popping a little bit of smolder through the crease as well, which is a dark purple. Time for eyeliner. I love this one. It's a Soap and Glory. Smolder Coal, it's really really good and really black and stays on all day. So I'm just going in the waterline and also in the tight line. I always tend to go a little bit onto the lash line as well and then just take a little pencil brush and blend it out. For mascara I really like this Max Factor False Lash Effect and I'm just going to curl my eyelashes quickly. I actually have two lip options and the first one is this lipstick from Rimmel. It's in number 45. Being attacked by fluff. So this is the finished look with the nude lip, but if you want to be crazy, you could wear a purple one. And I've got this one from MAC. It's gorgeous. It's called Own The Look. Just a dark purple. I love it. So this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you in my next one.